Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Pierre out here on the service call. A no heat call for a furnace. Um, I am working on today a York uh, Diamond 80% furnace. 80% furnace because of the flue pipe here. Single stage unit, very simple, very basic. But anyways, the customer complained that um, there was no heat. So I first started, um, <clears throat> see if I had power my thermostat. I had no 24 volts. Um, so you, we all know if you don't have 24 volts in your power, your, um, your problem is up at the furnace or at your air handler or whatnot. So but anyways, I put this fuse out here and this fuse is dead. So how I'll test the fuse is I put my meter on continuity there and I put a lead here on top here and a lead here around the edges here on these little gold little strips here. And, um, it's not ringing off. So let me know it's an open it is open inside there. It looks to be in contact there. It looks to be, um, it looks good. It's not burned out or nothing, but the fuse is, it's not ringing off continuity. So what I found here, they have a um, 10 microfarad capacitor. My cameras can focus in on this thing. Uh, you gonna focus camera or what? I just guess it's not gonna focus right now. There it goes, almost. Anyways, this is a 10, 10 microfarad. Um, there it goes, right there. It's a 10 microfarad capacitor. Um, I tested it. It is reading zero microfarads, and you can tell it has some. Um, it has oil, um, around, all around here, so it's leaking combustible fluid. So I'm pretty sure this would happen is the capacitor was so weak and so low the capacitor blew out and the motor went over its amp rating and blew the fuse. So um just a simple repair call. Um I had a question though. Uh, my igniter right here, my hot service igniter, it is reading about 89 ohms. And from my understanding is that um anything after like eight, 80 ohms or above is recommended that you replace these things because if I pull this thing out, I'm pretty sure it's going to have a lot of white spots on it. Um, anyways, to get this to get this system back up and running, we're going to replace the fuse, and we're going to replace the run capacitor. Do an amp draw on the motor. Make sure the amp the motor starts up. Hopefully, the um, back capacitor didn't fry the motor. Um, but anyways, yeah. So I'm just going to we have another furnace over here. Same thing. Diamond 80 percenter. This is a two-story home. Um, so it's a very big home. So they have two um, um, HVAC units here. Um, I think all the ducting is really nice here. It's all the ducting, evaporator coil, all the ducting and stuff. So it's a very clean install, you know. Um, but I'm about to I'm gonna go through this other furnace here and check everything out, make sure it starts up and everything, but I'm not here for this one. I'm just here for this one over here. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure, you know, um, <clears throat> me getting that capacitor and a new fuse in there, I'm going to recommend that they replace that hot service igniter, clean up a few things, and the system should fire off. Um, so that's pretty much it, man. Nothing fancy, nothing uh, that you guys haven't seen before, but, yeah, just a no-heat call, you know. Um, it is November 12th, 2015, and this, um, we was at like down to like 42 degrees out here in California yesterday, so it's pretty cold out here right now, and, you know, all the no, no heats are starting to come in. I'm not running any air conditioning calls anymore, so it's just the, like, um, maintenance, furnace maintenance and no heats right now, so, um, I will get back to you guys, and, you know, um, <clears throat> I'm not going to make another video of me um, firing up the system or anything, but I'm pretty much found a problem. So with the capacitor, then it's fused here, and hopefully that motor will start. I'm gonna recommend to replace this um, hot surface igniter right here. You know, everything looks to be in all right, decent shape. We're gonna clean all this little debris out of here. And 